welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is part 10 of my 100% walkthrough for Resident Evil Village. Thanks for butting in there a little bit, Juke. Okay, in this video, we're going to grab the achievement for getting the final outhouse. So we're going to get the 10th outhouse. We're going to grab a few other collectibles and we're going to start heading uh, down that way towards the next uh, Lord. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to go back into the village and... Uh, pick up some things that we either couldn't get earlier or we didn't get earlier. First thing we want to do is actually head to this building here. Uh, we should have a lockpick. Let me just show it on the map. That's where we're heading. We should have a lockpick in our possession if we go into our inventory. And right back near the start of the game, we found that there was a locked drawer in here. So we're going to go and open it. Here we go. And there it is. Alright, and from there... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think there is some loot under here that we didn't get the first time. That should make this building blue. Yes, it is. Uh, it wouldn't have been blue if we checked it before we picked up that money. Uh, now we're going to get some loot on a bench here, some gunpowder. And we're going to go through this gate that we unlocked in a previous video. And I want to head towards... I think it's this treasure here, is it? Is it Maestro's collection or is it that? No, no. I think it's that one. We're going to go... Uh, I've just got to remember how we get there. Let's go up through here. Uh, through here. And then all the way down here. And you'll remember we came in here and grabbed a few collectibles. And we also read the note on this door for one of the files that we needed. So we read that note, but we didn't have the key for this. Just show you on the map where we are. It is where I was uh, thinking we were going. And we do have the key. We picked it up right near the end of the last video. So use Luthia's key to go in here. Uh, there should be some loot under the sink here. I always do this. I've been playing some other games all day and I didn't practice this one today. I practiced this particular video that we're looking at here. I practiced it last night, so I sometimes get a little bit lost when I'm reading my notes. Uh, okay, code on the wall. Make sure you get the code off the wall. 270917. Make sure you know that. Uh, okay, and then there should be a draw. I thought it was that draw. It's not. There should be a draw that we can open over here. Grab the loot out of there. Let's uh, grab the loot out of this box. Hang on, I've already forgotten the code and I didn't write it down. 27917. That code is to be put in here. I can't remember everything. 27917. Oh yeah, I didn't mention we're also gonna get a new weapon in this video. Uh, we've got some treasure there. Open this up. This is a weapon part for the uh, sniper rifle, the F2 rifle. We will automatically equip that as well. Head in here and equip that on the sniper rifle. Awesome. So that is, what's that? Weapon part, 8 out of 22. Uh, and don't forget, before you leave, there's also a gem inside this. So you can use your knife to get that down. Grab that out of there. And then we can go back out. Just going to make sure I've got a weapon ready. We can go all the way back towards Duke now, actually. Which way is the quickest way back to Duke? Uh, I think I'll go this way. Up over here. Probably quicker to go back the way we came, but too late now. Too late now. Drop down. <sighs> Uh, don't need to go up that ladder. And back through here. Actually, both ways are pretty quick, aren't they? Really doesn't matter. Alright, back past Duke. Do we need to sell anything? Oh, we do want to save it. You want to get your shotgun ready. And you want to save. And now we're going to go through the final door that we haven't unlocked in this area. This would be to the south, if you're looking at the map. And we're going to use the four-winged unborn key. Uh, head down this way. I'm not going to say anything for a second. Who knows? Wonder why. 
Uh oh. Now this is why I told you to have your shotgun ready. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ow, ow, ow. This reminds me of the Revenant. <laughs> Post a comment if you uh, understand what I'm saying and if it reminded you as well. Oh boy, oh boy. Now, you're not in control here. You're not in control until he turns around and the shotgun comes out. And we're going to uh, give him a couple of blasts in the face, hopefully. When he runs away, reload first, then get out. Let's see if we can get him to come back after us. He normally runs down there. Where'd he go? I've never seen him run this far away. I've not seen this happen before. Where'd he go? I can hear him. Where the heck did he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, we're going to get him a couple... I was going to say something different. Hang on, let me just uh, concentrate here. Okay, uh, reloading, no fair. I was going to say, go around, shoot him a couple more times, and then run back in here. Oh, I didn't get to. Anyway, that was real weird. We'll finish him off. One more shot. There we go. Yeah, that, that happened a little bit different to all my practice runs and other runs I've done in this game. Uh, usually, I shoot him a couple of times, and when he runs off, I just quickly reload, then follow him out, shoot him another once or twice, get him to sort of follow me back, and then I just sit in here again um, and get a little bit of safety there. But anyway, we got him. Didn't take too many shots. Uh, now, you need to go back in here and get the next collectible. This is file number 27 on the dead body here. Once again, pause the video if you want to have a read of that. Okay, now we need to go uh, down, back down here, and at the uh, water or the little river, turn left, and go inside this iron locked door here, using the iron insignia key, of course. Time for a new weapon, uh, but first let's just uh, smash open that, get some explosive rounds. And on the uh, bench right here is the GM-79 grenade launcher. Grab that. Load it up, hopefully with explosive rounds. And remember to get the lockpick off the windowsill as well. Now we can head back out. We don't need the grenade launcher right now. Uh, follow the water. And obviously if you were doing a speed run, you wouldn't do this next bit. But at this bridge, if you turn to the right, there's going to be two enemies that have spawned inside here. And we want their loot. Hey, you're meant to die. There we go, one. And the other one's gonna come running out. Two. Grab their loot. And then continue on following the water. So that's at the bridge, off to your right. Always, they always spawn at this part. Uh, continue down here, follow the water, get your knife out. And here you need to, or can use, you can use guns to, or explosions to get rid of this, but you can just slash away at it and save your ammo. And continue down the path that uh, that reveals. And over to the right here we got some more, I just call this slime, I don't know what you would call it, but get rid of the slime, that's what I say. And that allows us to climb this ladder. And down here, we're going to have some more meat to collect. Two piggies. Two piggies. Take care of them. Hop down. Grab the meat. Yum, yum, yum. And now head inside the windmill just here. Uh, there should be some loot to the right on the barrel here. Well, I guess it's not loot, it's a photo of a rare animal. I think we've already taken care of that animal. My notes said loot. Uh, make a save if you want. And once you've done that, you can head down the stairs here. Should be a lift out here, yep. Here we go, up on, up on board and hit the uh, lever. Can't remember which side you get off. Uh, I think it's this side. Yeah, with, with the lever on our right, I think. Q. 
Come on. It's not like they need it for the loading screens. Okay, heading out here, if we head to our right for now, there's going to be a crystal or something in the roof here. Ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Shoot that down. Pick that up. All right, and then we're going to go all the way through here. You'll notice the area, if you checked the map, it would still be red. Don't worry about that for now. And go up the stairs. And let's get a cutscene. Let's meet someone. Or re-meet. I'm not sure if you, we've, if you counted as meeting him earlier. We've got the arms flask. And then another cutscene. If it's for you, I'd do anything. Oh, g'day, Moreau. It's just us. I'll just be taking this. Yeah. What, 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 what are you doing with Mother's special child? She's That's not hers. my child. Oh, you have or part child. of her, anyway. What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother! What's her baby back? Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But Not my problem. I do better than them. What do I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> He's got a point. It's all over. I plugged the way in. What are you? Is that him controlling all the slime, eh? I won't let you leave. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, mate. All right, once we're back in control, head back the way we Damn came. Freak. Uh, don't worry about all that. I don't think it can even hurt us, to be honest. Just head back the way we came. You can slice some of it back away, but you don't get anything for it. I've tried. So back out to the opening, and to the left, this door is now accessible. It's been uh, broken. Uh, but don't head oh, straight out, out that way. Once you get into here, turn to our right and go right again and up the stairs. And to our right, if you look here, it is red. But if we grab this loot off the barrel, it's now blue. Awesome. Uh, and don't go back the way we came. Head this direction where the yellow tape is and uh, just grab your knife and chop that down and magically create a bridge and then head out to where this ladder is. You can drop down and then turn around to go underneath there for a barrel as well. Grab some goodies there and then head up this way. I was just uh, thinking how we're going to take care of these guys. Uh, yeah, we'll use the sniper rifle here for a second. There'll be two guys out here. Last time I did this, though, the uh, second one snuck right up on me. So shoot this guy in the head. That didn't work either. So take care of him. Switch the handgun, I think, this time. And take care of the other one. Um, yeah, sometimes you can get both the sniper rifle, but that first, one, that first headshot... Usually kills them. It didn't quite work. Uh, loot both the bodies while we've got the chance. Oh, wait. I did, didn't I? I did loot both, didn't I? Okay. And then what we're going to do is uh, make sure you've got a mine. If you've been following along, I know we looted a mine earlier. Uh, if you've got a mine, grab one. If you, can, if, you can, if you don't have one, but you can craft one, do that. Equip a mine. Or do it your own way. I don't, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I put a mine just outside near this fire here. Just pop a mine there. As soon as we go inside this shack, we're actually looking for a boat key. We don't actually know that we need the boat key yet uh, because I went a different way. Usually if you go the way the game sort of wants you to go, you find a boat and then you have to backtrack to here to get the boat key. But we're getting the boat key first. I just want to move that a little bit more forward. Sorry, guys. I want that sort of near the entrance. A bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Get the gun ready and head inside. As soon as you head inside, some enemies are going to spawn. Specifically this big guy. Let him uh, take himself out. Hopefully with this. Oi! Maybe I have to shoot at him. Where'd he go? Oi, I'm over here, mate. Boom. Hey, there we go. Took out a couple of them, I think. But there should be a few more still left. 
Right, finish off the big guy. Hey, you. Come here. Oh, crap. He got me. I stopped shooting. I thought he was dead. Alright, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay, chat. Oh, you're not chat. You're YouTube. That reminds me. I call chat, chat, uh, over on Twitch when, uh, I'm gaming. I'm so used to gaming over on Twitch now that I'm, uh, starting to say it in my YouTube videos. This is bad. I think that's the second time this walkthrough I've done that. Uh, there should have been the big guy and four other enemies. Um, I didn't count the loot, though. There's another loot out there. Probably got blown up by the mine. So that mine did good damage. That worked. Uh, apologies for calling you chat. Uh, there we go. But yeah, please come and say hi over on Twitch as well. Under the tree somewhere, there should be a green herb. Yeah, right there. Right there. Uh, a barrel next to the house or the building. And another barrel out here. And then a loot in this boat over here as well. Uh, let's reload everything as well. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Looking good. Back inside, we never got the boat key in the end, did we? Make sure you grab the boat key off a little hook here. Uh, and I think the area should be blue now. Yep, it is. Alright, now we're going to head back the way we came. Pretty simple area, though. And up the ladder. And this time when we go down these stairs, we can go straight. And this will take us out towards the boat. There's going to be two more enemies when we get towards a shack out here. Oh, there, there's one. I'm going to let him come down a bit closer. Or should I just fire one shot at him? Here we go. And once you take care of him, his other buddy's on his way. Alright, take care of both of them. You should be safe after that. Grab their loot. Off to the left. Uh, here is a barrel. Uh, now, I spent a lot of time trying to work out how to get that chest right there. Uh, but we come back later. I won't say too much more. We'll get that later, though. Okay, heading into the shack. will give us the next collectible. It's this file on this table. Make sure you collect that for file number 28 out of 47. There shouldn't be any loot in the shack. Let me just make sure there's no color. It doesn't tell us. Maybe there is loot. I didn't find any. Anyway, use the boat key to ride the boat. And head straight out. There's really only one way to go in this particular boat, I believe. Hey, what's that, everyone? What was that? Exactly, Ethan. Exactly. What was that? We'll find out soon. Well, we'll find out more soon. Soon-ish. I do have the whole playthrough all planned out. Now, make sure you don't approach that uh, area right there, guys. When you get up these little stairs, head to the right first. We're going to head up here, and we're going to go fishing. Now, these fish can be a little bit annoying. Find the bubbles. And go slicey, slicey. Alright, got one. Got two fish out of that. Stand up. Look around for the bubbles. Can't remember how many fish there is meant to be in here. Let me see. Where are the bubbles gone? Maybe they're over here. Yeah, you can normally see them breathing bubbles, and you can hear them. I can definitely hear them, but I can't see them. Alright, guys. What was I missing here? Let me see. No, there's definitely more fish. Wait, there's, there's bubbles. Is that bubbles? No? This is strange. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, is it? Yeah, there he is. Got him! I am crouching as well, guys. Uh, the trick that we learned with the uh, chickens. 
helps with the fish as well. You can see it's crossed out now, uh, but the area is what we call red. And if you look up on the right hand side, there is some sort of crystal thingamajig. Make sure you shoot that down. And now we have it all in blue. Once you've done that, you can make your way around to that area that I said to avoid. And we'll grab another cutscene. Let's go have a look. All the way into here. What the hell? Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Fuck down. All right, calm down. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. Yeah, no thanks to you, Chris. Something happened to you now. Sure, Chris, why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Hey, Cap, I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Chris really should have opened his big mouth long, then. And Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. You stay out of our business, Ethan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Moreau's angry. Uh oh. It's cool when I'm watching this with you guys because I haven't watched any of the cutscenes since the very first day the game came out, and I've uh, played the game a lot since then. So I'm enjoying watching them and uh, actually concentrating on what's going on too. I'm not done. And did you just I don't have time for shrink this. back to this size, Moreau? Miranda sent you to slow me down. You're pathetic. Yeah, let's just, sh Ethan. Instead of chatting, we should shoot it before it grows again. Come on, Ethan. What are you talking about? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, come on. Get on with it. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, once you're uh, back in control. Wait a minute. I wasn't ready. Go up here. Run up here. Run this way. Just run, run, run. And you'll automatically make this jump. Alright, get the sniper rifle out and turn around. Over here, you should see two bits of yellow tape. Gonna uh, take care of this to make another magic bridge. We'll need that later. It's a lot easier to shoot it from here, though. All right. Head up the hill. Wait, yes, yes. What yeah, drop down here. And inside this building up here. Uh, he said the exit's in the wall. We can't uh, solve this puzzle yet. It doesn't have any power. Head out, out the back and meet our buddy, Duke, again. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to talk to Duke. Ah, and we're going to give him some more ingredients. Uh, he can have the one meat that he needs for... No, not that. Just make sure... I always make sure we give the health ingredients or the health increase ingredients first. Uh, so ah, give him the one of those that we need. Oh, hang on. And the four fish. We all the oh, we've completed that one. Now. I forgot that we'd complete that there. To be honest, my notes didn't tell me that. Oh, that's because the last practice run I did them around the other way. There we go. There's a free heal. 
Hope you haven't been healing. <laughs> nah, it's really not an issue if you have been healing, guys. We're not doing the no heals run today or on this playthrough. Believe it or not, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in the walkthrough. Our next full playthrough of the game is actually going to be a knife-only run. We're going to use less than four heals. I don't think I'll heal at all. Uh, so knife-only, no healing. We're going to spend less than 10000 If you've already got the uh, special knife, we're not going to spend any money at all. And we're going to do it under three hours. Okay. Uh, damage when guarding. Well, we have got three meat. So we're going to give him that as well. And I think that's all we've got. Excellent. So give him all those ingredients. Uh, and see if you've got anything to sell. We should have a couple of things to sell. Large crystal. Yellow quartz. You can sell them without combining them. If you've played a lot of Resident Evil games, though, they do look like something you'd want to combine. But nope, nope. We don't have to combine those. Sell that. Crystal Beast, definitely sell. Keep the necklace with two holes. Sell the still, whatever that says. Res. I'm not, yep, yeah, no, nah, no idea. Okay, 62,000 buckaroos. Splendid. You Splendid indeed. Work. And then make sure you save your game as well. I look from the fruits of your exploration. Quiet, Duke. Uh, who wants to get another achievement? Head out this door and then take a right and head out the uh, other door. This is So this is not the way we came in. And then head around the back. And we're going to open the tenth and final outhouse. Now, I don't think I've opened this one. Uh, there we go. The achievement popped on screen because I purposely never opened this one in any of my practice runs. I wanted to leave it for this video. Worth it. Would have been more worth it if it was still a rare achievement. But anyway, I love it. We got the achievement to pop on screen. Uh, once we've got that, we want to head up this path, up towards the other windmill over there. And we're going to get the next collectible that's in the seat of this car here. Make sure you examine that for file number 29. Now we have got some chickens to go. Let's see if my crouch method still works. One. I always make sure I get the loot off them straight away so I don't lose it. Oops, I did not mean to stand back up there. Two. And there'll be a third guy. There he is. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum is certainly more applicable here. <laughs> All right, get the loot off the barrel. And there should be a chest over here as well. Make sure you open that up. Crystal fragment out of there. And now we can go to the windmill, uh, which is back around the car. Make sure you've got that. All right, back to the windmill. On the left here should be some loot. There should be a barrel just uh, about halfway around. Three quarters of the way around. <coughs> And then we're going to get the next collectible is goat number 12. So follow all the way around the tracks on the outside of the windmill. And down on the ground down here is goat number 12. For a second then I was like, I thought he was up here from memory. And I was like, where the heck is he? But yeah, down on the ground, goat number 12 out of 20. Uh, now you can head inside. You don't need to interact with that there. Head inside and uh, go down the ladder. I don't know if it was just me, but that felt like the world's longest ladder. Uh, head outside, across this roof here, uh, and across this little gap. Pick up some loot, and then head to where this yellow tape is. You could shoot it, or you could uh, reach it with your knife, make a magic bridge. As you go across, make sure he has gone past before you cross the second section on to this roof here same with this don't cross until he's gone past there we go and across there and i do believe this is where if we hadn't have shot that uh, yellow tape earlier this is where we would uh, get a little bit stuck but we shot it so we can go across here into this shack here and out to get a barrel on the left hand side and then we can head up these stairs and push this car. Make sure you push this car. Now 
Now get your sniper rifle out, guys. We're going to get the next goat. Goat number 13 is over there on this, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, on this post in the distance. So I'll just show you on the map where we're looking. I don't know if that helps, but that's where the goat is. Make sure you take care of the little goat. That is, like I said, goat number 13. I'm just going to get my gun back out there. We can drop down here and make sure you open this box and pull the lever here. Ugh, stinks. Classic Resident Evil grossness. Resident Evil. I can speak properly. Alright, that'll uh, raise this platform. Now, these coloured uh, switches that we've got to pull, they are like time. You, once you hit it, the platform that raises only stays raised for a short amount of time. So once you've hit it, we're going to go across here. Pull another switch. And across here, that blue one's about to go down. So we've got to hit this again. To get it to stay up. Uh, once we're across all those, we've got a uh, box here that we can uh, grab magnum ammo. That's awesome. And now, what we need to do, guys, is we need to get back across where we just came from and then turn right and get across there all uh, without these switches needing to be pressed again. So we need to press them in the right order. Breath of the Wild is the right order. It's blue, orange, and white, B-O-W. And then run for it. Blue, orange, white, run, turn right, keep running, and make it through to here. Now, where's the big guy? Head across this. As you head onto this next platform there, he's gonna come right at you, so back away again. So go here and then back away. I don't think we can damage him yet, so there's no point wasting ammo, but once he's passed, Make your way across and then quickly up onto this platform here. Let's uh, take care of the barrel, get the loot. And from here, we need to run down and back up those stairs over there. So run for it as soon as you get on. Run as fast as you can, although the game uh, makes you go a bit slower. And then up these stairs. And we did it. Now, if you do a bit of a U-turn, head back this way. Wait for him to jump over there and push this uh, cart. Hopefully that all makes sense, guys. Now we can cross into this shack here. And we need to go up these stairs and push another car into this position here. Once we've pushed that second car and he's gone past, we can drop down, continue on inside, get rid of a barrel, keep your knife out and get rid of this slime. You need to do this relatively fast, guys. And as soon as you can, head, uh, sorry, up the ladder. Alright, up here there should be a switch that we can pull. Sorry, I was just reading my notes for a second there. And Ethan's going to say his worst line of the whole game. Caught myself a big one. And we're going to drop inside, or drop down, sorry, and go inside. And once in here, we're going to get our knife out and get rid of the slime again. As soon as we have, make sure you climb up. And going in here and around to the right, we're going to see a padlock that we can hit with the knife. It'll drop a ladder and we're going to go up the ladder. So we're, we're safe again now. Whether it sounds it or not, we are kind of safe right now I forgot to mention that the whole point of what we're doing at the moment is we're trying to turn the power on head outside get the loot out of the barrel and now we can actually try and crank this thing to sort of get the uh, windmill work so grabbing that will just uh, pick up the crank sorry we need that for the other windmill but we want to get over there somehow and we want to actually go up here to do that though, you have to first interact with this ladder. If you don't interact with the ladder there, you can't actually use the crank here. So we're going to use the crank here now. But yeah, you have to interact with the broken part of the ladder first. Once you've uh, done that, you can run back over to where the broken ladder was and you can climb up.
Once we're up here, head to your right, and we're going to use the zip line. And keep an eye on things here. Whee! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> All right, use the zip line. And now that we've got the crank, we can actually use this here. To power up this, this windmill here. And this turns the power on so that we can lower the water. And if you remember, Moreau said that the okay. exits are under water. Alright. So head back to where the power puzzle thingamajig was. Well, you might not know it was a puzzle, but there is a little puzzle we're going to solve. You want to pick this up and you want to turn it around so that it's that way. That's the way it's got to be, but once you put it back down, it's going to go back to normal. I guess the answer, though, is for the top row, you want blue, white, orange. Blue, white, orange for the top row. Then you want white, orange, black, so we don't have to change it. And then you want orange, blue, blue. So hopefully that helps. Once you've got that puzzle done, you can hit this lever here. Got it. Yeah, we did. We got it. All right, we're going to head out the back. We're not going to talk to Duke right now. We're going to save the game. And that is it for the video, guys. Uh, in the next video, we are going to fight the boss, Moreau. The Moreau boss, whatever you want to call it. But in the meantime, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it as usual. If you are, please keep giving us those thumbs up. Getting lots of support on this series uh, compared to the support I usually get. So I'm really, really appreciate, appreciating it, guys. I love you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, that's enough from me. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.